Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the newest high grade in the Bill Divers Rerise line. That's your Raven Gundam. This is the main character's mobile suit, basically an upgraded version of his core Gundam. Now, I'm not going to be doing the intro like I normally do. Instead, I'm just going to jump right into it. And if you want to pick up this kit or more, you can go to newtypehq.com slash Krosama, so that way you can get 10% off your purchase. And get other tools, maybe some supplies while you're at it. And here is the Core 1 and Core 2 Gundams. I absolutely love them. Uh, the Core 1 was a beautiful design. I think it was really unique because it was fairly chibi and you don't really see too many mobile suits like this. It, I think it just really works well with the Divers kind of series because you can really create much of whatever you want and just scan it in. Now the Core 2 truly improves everything on the Core 1, it, whether it's performance or even aesthetics. Maybe you could say aesthetics is going to be more, uh, you know, opinionated, but I think this is a fact that the Core 2 just looks so much better because the proportions look right, and when it, when it comes in terms of articulation, it actually has an ab crunch. One of the biggest complaints I had of the Core Gundam. So the extra things I do love about the Core 2 Gundam is going to be like the extra clear parts right there on the top of the head as well as the chest. I think it just brings out more color and just a little bit better design on the Core Gundam. Maybe that's what is missing, uh, maybe not, but to me, it just adds a lot more of personality to this kit. And of course, the arms are just going to be as chibi as ever. Looking really good though. Legs are going to be fat and stocky. The backpack is pretty much the same, nothing really new going on here except for the design of the beam sabers. They are just going to be a little bit different. And like I mentioned before, this is actually going to have an ab crunch, which is going to be just way better when it comes to um, articulation, so you can kind of just move it like that. Now when it comes to articulation, this kid is not going to have any problems getting into some good fancy poses. And this kit does come with two beam sabers with beam effect parts. One is going to be the smaller kind of dagger sized ones. That's going to be from the 2007 Gundam Exia. And you're going to have the two long ones as well.
And the next weapon we're going to take a look at is going to be the Core Spray Gun. This is going to be the Core 2's range weapon. And it's a pretty good looking weapon, nothing really too spectacular, but it looks decent for like a little hand pistol. And here is the core defensor. This is basically a shield, but it also acts as a unit for the transformation of the core Gundam. It looks great. I honestly love the design. It's obviously taken from the wing Gundam, but for the most part, it's not a bad shield whatsoever. And it has a little bit of a gimmick, uh, so I'll show you that in a little bit. And the core Gundam can hold it up without any issues whatsoever. Um, I think if you put it in certain positions, it's going to sag a little bit. So just make sure whenever you're put, you know, positioning it wherever you need to, either tighten the joint or make sure you just find that little sweet spot. Now to put the shield on the back, you're just going to have to take this little top piece off. Then you're going to bring this piece out, flip the handle down, put this piece back in, and plug this directly into the backpack. So I can tell you right now, I am not a fan of this mode. I, It just looks weird. It's a giant, like, tail, essentially. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not the one that's going to be putting it in this position at all on my shelf. Now for the transformation, we're just going to flip the arms to the sides. Rotate the legs. Bring these feet down. Bring these arms inward. Push these legs up in that kind of, like, wing look. Rotate the feet inwards. Flip the head around. Take the shield, I'm gonna flip this little handle up. Take the shield and the body, and you're basically just gonna plug it all in, like so. Plug the gun into the nose of the shield. And lastly, put the shield right back on top of the, flip the beam sabers back. And lastly, just plug the shield right on top. And here it is all transformed. Honestly, I don't mind it. It's not the best thing I've ever seen transformed, but it works for what it is. It's a small core Gundam, and I, I'm supposing it's going to boost a little bit faster, and it's going to be a little more agile in this form. Once again, haven't seen the show, but that's my assumption. So it's, it's a harmless transformation in my opinion. And here is the Uranus armor. This looks amazing. I absolutely love this. It, it just screams like a cool sci-fi flight mode, unlike everything else, which was really obviously parts just slapped onto a little flight pack and that was it. This actually could be its own just spaceship and I would be fine with that. You see, you know, obviously you see the legs and you see some other parts here and there, but this really could be its own ship. Now, of course, you do get a stand, so that way you can go ahead and uh, just get this sitting up. And underneath it, you're going to be able to store your extra hands underneath it. So that's actually a fantastic idea. All right, guys, let's go ahead and transform. So for adding the armor, we're just going to take off the hands real quick. And we're going to pull the feet down. Attach the front skirt armor, back skirt armor. Slide the legs right into the larger legs. Slide the legs right into the larger legs. Plug in the new forearm, plug in the hands, add the hand guards, make sure you spread the shoulders apart. Then you're going to slide these pieces right underneath. Then slap the top piece right on so that way it can be secure. Slap the V-fin right on. Throw on the shoulder pads. Plug in the shield right into the back. Plug in the top half of the shield right inside here. Throw the sensor right here in the middle. And lastly, let's go ahead and pop this gun right in and throw this part right on top. And here is the Raven Gundam complete. This looks beautiful. I absolutely love this mobile suit. I, I was really skeptical on the armor just from what I've seen, even in other reviews from the Japanese Korean side, I still was a little bit skeptical. But after building it, posing it, and just like playing around with it, I am in love with this armor. By far my favorite armor out of all the planet systems thus far. Maybe until Saturn comes out because I'm actually very partial to that mobile suit. But this one right now is, is perfect. Now the first thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the Beam Shooting Rifle U7. This is actually a multi-functioning rifle so it can be like a regular beam shooting rifle or you can extend it and it becomes the sniper rifle. So it has two different functionalities. 
It also has a handle on either side so that way if you want a more stable shot, you can go ahead and grab onto either one. The shield on the side also acts as an eye field generator so that way whenever the mobile suit is in the sniping position or you know whenever it's doing its motions, it can actually have a little bit extra defense. Now the next piece of equipment that this kit's going to have is the sensor bits. It's going to have three of them, two of them mount to the shoulder, which is this, and this can actually rotate around back and forth. What they are are basically just little bits that gain uh, intelligence on the enemy, like doing some reconnaissance. So they're really good for a sniper because the sniper is going to be on the move and he needs to know where his target is. So that way he can accurately hit its target and make sure he's not in the line of fire anywhere. But this is really cool and you can detach them and you can plug them into stands. So right here on the side of the leg is another sensor unit. This one, however, is wired. It doesn't come with a wire, so you're gonna have to use your own, but it is a wired piece that connects to the side of the leg, and I'm guessing it detaches, and it can basically like thrust all around and perform the same actions as the sensor units on the shoulders as well as the back. So one thing I forgot to mention is actually the open hand that it comes with. Really good to see such an accessory come with the core Gundam because I really wasn't thinking it did come with these. It, it was just basically going to be the split in half hands, but having the open hand like that, it adds a little bit more personality and style to it. Now the last set of weapons that it's going to have is the beam sabers. It's basically the same exact beam saber, but this time it has a longer effect. Ooh. So now that we covered the entirety of the Uranus armor, we're going to go and put on another piece of armor. And here it is in the Earth 3 armor. To be honest, I'm going to be completely blunt with you guys. I don't see a drastic difference. There's some obviously aesthetic differences here and there, mainly with the like, you know, feet in the back kind of dangling a little bit further out. You are going to have the ab crunch and then the overall center of the chest is going to be a lot different and just pretty much looks a lot better. But I can't help but to think it doesn't really look much different. It, it kind of just is the same. So I'm not really like all, you know, gung ho about it being in this form. It looks good, and I, you know, if I had an extra one, maybe I would pose it in this armor instead. But to be honest, I think the Uranus armor is significantly better. And here it is in the V2 armor. Now, I know the first thing you're noticing is that the front skirts are not on. This is something I was going to save for the end of the review, but seeing as it's kind of noticeable now, I'm going to mention it. The joints and everything on the Core 2 Gundam is a little bit loose. And it's not everything. The main key things on the core Gundam that just doesn't want to stay on is going to be the front skirts, and then it's going to be uh, the backpack adapters. So all the parts that just snap into the backpack, I have so much trouble having those things stay on, especially the one that is for the Raven Gundam. And another little thing that just kind of keeps you know messing up is going to be the waist. It's very loose, and then the shoulders. Uh, sometimes the little armor on the shoulders just slip right off. Um, even if I pinch it all the way on top of the armor, it doesn't want to stay on with the friction. Now I do think this looks way better than I guess the G3 colors of the Core Gundam for the V2. This just looks significantly better. I love the white that goes with the rest of the white. And not that really weird purple, you know, purplish color. It just is really not that great looking. But the white with the green, oh man, it looks so good. Also with the clear green in the chest. That makes this suit just really pop out. So, yeah, I think this is the better version to get. So, if you're going to get the V2, I would highly recommend just getting the Core 2 Gundam to match along with it. 
Well, that's it for the review, guys. So, I'm sorry that I didn't put it right back into the Raven Gundam mode. I just left that armor on because it's th this whole desk. You may not see it, but everything is just scattered all around because I was just swapping all these parts in and out. So, I'm just leaving my final thoughts. This is a good kit. It really is something I love. I love the aesthetics. The articulation is really good for both the Core 2 as well as the Raven. The only gripes I am going to say is a lot of the loose parts. Some joints are just not like, well not joints, but some part connection pieces are just not sticking together as I intended or as I guess maybe even the kit intended. So it could be a, a fault in my kit in particular, but I'm not really going to deduct too many points like of my invisible point tally score. Um, I really do think it's a great kit nonetheless. Easy, fixable, you know, things. Um, not, I didn't really see much seam lines. Uh, the head had a, had a big seam line, so you're going to have to remove that if you decide you want to. Um, for the most part, though, this kit is really straightforward. A lot of the seams are disguised as like two connecting pieces, so it doesn't look like actual seams. It looks like just two parts that are connected um so it doesn't look too bad i honestly love it i love the aesthetics i love the colors the accessories that you get with this is pretty good pretty basic you get a shield you get uh beam sabers and you get guns so it's really standard uh the sensors the little bits those are really cool but the fact that they are the male points you're gonna have to have a female point stand like something that you can plug it into and there's not too many stands around that are female or have female adapters unless you you get one of, like the big stands like the axe stands or something like that not axe uh if you get one of the bandai stands and those actually have the uh connecting parts with it so, so that way you can plug it in outside of that there's nothing really else that, that's notable about this kit it's it's one of those that i think is going to come and go but it is still a great kit to get and customize I've seen lots of great customs online so if you really want to just try your hand at doing some customs the core Gundam 2 is going to be probably one of the better ones to do that with everything is pretty much attachable detachable so you can have fun with the planet systems or you can just make your own thing uh, that's it for me though uh, really pluses all around get it if you really want to uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much going to be uh, leaving it in maybe either this mode because I think this is the better of all of them or I might go back to your Raven eventually. But that's it for me guys. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next review. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye bye.